Meghan Markle here. Today is January 20th, 2022. It's 1.47 a.m. All right. I know it's a bit early, but I slept a lot yesterday. Um, I went to bed since 8, and before that, I was knocked out on the couch. But I have a lot to share with you. There are some tweets I didn't record yesterday. I left them. Andrew, some tweets about Andrew that's going to be on RP Team Sussex. And uh, some minor other tweets that I came across. Uh, maybe I'll do another small video and put that on PYTE channel. And uh, I wanted to go over some tweets that I came across regarding Britney Spears. So that also will be on RP Team Sussex. But nothing major regarding the Sussexes. Okay, so this is the last video that I edit regarding Bat Sentinel, Bouzier. He uh, put out a report, so I, you know, did some, a video about it, and uh, I'm uploading it now. I already scheduled for January 20th. Let's see. All right, so let's go on Twitter. I'm a little bit slow this morning. <laughs> All right, so let's go on Twitter. First tweet. All right, so there's this here. The palace covering for Mr. Arrogant, Andrew, for years have now opened a Pandora box that stank many high-profile people. Chill, 2022 will be a busy year for the courts and FBI. All right, that was in January 17th. Today is the 20th. Like I said, these are leftover tweets that I didn't share, and um, I'm, you know, want to get rid of them. In other words, record them, share them with you. All right, so let's see some of the headlines here. Prince Andrew's scandal explodes as FBI investigate Ms. Lane Maxwell, UK contacts. <laughs> okay, the scandal surrounding Prince Andrew may have just gotten a whole lot bigger now that the FBI are extending their investigation to include UK contact list in Ms. Lane Maxwell Little Black Book. FBI investigation could see some of those contacts as potential witnesses, if not Huh, perpetrators and what Ben described as quote pyramid scheme of abuse and quote. <laughs> then again, when you look at the, the Met Police when they did their own investigation, what did they say? Oh, everything is clean. <laughs> he didn't he didn't do anything wrong. But you sometimes you have I mean it's not easy, but if the thing your nonsense keep on uh, following you, at some point you just need to deal with it face it and then move on with your life but then again these people grew up in this kind of environment they don't know peace so okay there are also sportsmen world leaders and celebrities bill clinton is listed as our tony blair oh tony blair is part of that too that's the first time i came across that tony blair and donald trump okay this him i'm okay and bill clinton and i've heard these two names but tony blair what UK names include Phil Collins. Oh, really? Phil Collins? Isn't that the musician, the drummer? Wow. Phil Collins, Simon Levin, Mick Jagger. What? Even him too? Richard Branson, the late David Foss. Okay, so he's gone. <laughs> uh, Tamara Beckwith, Naomi. <gasps> They finally bring her name in this. I've been knowing this. I never said anything. I never said anything. I was waiting until I could see it written somewhere. There it is. Naomi Campbell. Thank you. Finally. I suspected her, but I never see her name on any of this stuff. 
because you see her at parties because she was a model she probably that was my um how do you call this my suspicion i'm like a lot of time I come, I come across it. I want to mention her name. I said, I don't want to be the first one to mention it. There it is. Her name finally popped up here. Naomi Campbell, Jonathan Dembley, and numerous peers such as Charles Spencer. What? And title ladies, Charles Spencer? Is that Princess Diana's brother? What? Let's look it up. Now I'm curious. Charles Spencer. Charles Spencer. Who's that? Yeah. Yeah. That's uh, Princess Diana's uh, uh, brother. What? Okay, let's children, spouse, sibling, Lady Sarah McCurry, Jane Flower, Princess uh, of Well. Yeah. Yep. Oh my goodness. Okay. What Charles Spencer and title ladies. Other well known names include David What in the name? David Blaine, Woody Allen What? Bill Cosby, Rupert Murdoch, Alec Baldwin, and Courtney Love. Courtney Love, isn't that singer? With uh, Kirk Cobain? Oh my god. Courtney Love. Let's see. Oh my god. yeah her she's 57 oh my god she's only 57 she always looked much older than that oh my god wow wow yeah kirk cobain yep oh my goodness okay who else okay where is it uh charles other well-known name include david blaine woody allen bill cosby Rupert Murdoch, alan baldwin my goodness uh and courtney love there's also Rafin ted kennedy what and former israel prime minister ehud Barak. oh my god wow can of worm as for the comment by prince andrew's legal team that the legal case is turning into a marathon not a sprint <laughs> it could not be more true and did a combination of scandal ridden tory government what PPE down the street? These are things I'm, I'm aware. The Epstein Maxwell sex scandal has the potential to even eclipse to Profumo affair. A huge can of worm has been opened with no doubt many more revelations to come. He should have just deal with it when Virginia wanted to contact him. He should have just deal with it. But instead he did his 360. And by the way, this was perfectly designed why did i say perfectly designed look at all those world leaders people in high profile and all of that okay and then if you look at a certain country how what are they doing right now who's not in this mess okay how is uh russia is doing right now okay they're building up okay they're building up their uh, their agenda is going forward while we are in this mess right now i i gotta give it to them they did a very good job on that I'm not proud of these men abusing those children, but the thinking behind it to do all of this and then for you uh, to move up with your agenda without these people bothering you, okay? You don't have to do any uh, war, send your people to war. Even though they're advancing their agenda, I'm hearing about the Ukraine thing. Uh, there's a lot of things going on. Just compare what the U.S. and the U.K., are going through right now and then compare to what uh, uh, Russia is doing right now okay nothing in that sense nobody's talk talking about uh, uh, the, the thing that they're doing occasionally I come across some uh, tweets reporting about uh, Russia they do moving up with their agenda meanwhile we stuck with this mess okay men when people vote for them they're not doing their job they uh, worry you know to please themselves and then if you look in the U.S. right now, what is it? They just black um, voting. Uh, what is it uh, to discuss about voting right? People need to vote, okay? No matter what nonsense they put uh, to deter you, you still need to get your butt 
on the line to vote. All right, so let's see what that, that's the first time I came across the name Naomi Campbell. I've been knowing this because I've seen her in pictures and all of that, and she's trying to, let me just leave it as that because I'm just happy this is the first time uh, they mention it. Okay, let's see here. Damn, that sound you hear is the shit hitting the fan. It's going to splatter on a lot of folks. I'm prepared. Uh, there's me, LOL, but, but, but. His record in the UK, according to Met Police, is so clean. Okay, please let the petit organ be among. All right, let's go to the next tweet that I held and never get a chance to share with you. Okay, the new deputy editor of The Sun had attended one of the government lockdown parties. Why didn't the press expose them sooner? Add your name to call for investigation into the relationship between the press and politicians here. When I saw this, the only thing that I'm saying, I mean, then these people been knowing this? I'm not in the UK. I'm not going to sign my name on this. Okay, there's people putting done, done. We know the connection between the press media, pundit, and government. We've been saying it for years, and the final proof of the connection was the attack on Corbyn and the support for the Storm and Gang enabling the Tory victory. <laughs> okay, and when number 10 says, quote, civil servant, and quote, referring to those on the multiple piss up, and number 10, those people are not actually civil servants. They are the dark money funded 55 Tufton Street, far right, gone, and son and male journalists, they've, they've filled number 10 with since 2019. If you look at the Bad Sentinel report, uh, the way those three perpetrators uh, start with their vile uh, attack on the Duchess Sussex is the same kind of tactic that they're doing over there. Okay, there is a group of people who team up together, pretend to make a voice of the, you know, of the people. They make a lot of noises, thinking it's the entire, you know, more than how many people it is actually involved. So, it's the same tactic with uh, the, the tabloid. Uh, and then, the people are the ones who's in the tabloid to magnifying the whatever direction they want the country to go to. But it's just unfortunately... So many people are blind. They've been uh, immune to that kind of uh, reporting and they don't know any different. All right. And then when it comes to voting, you hear some nonsense depending on the environment at the time. So if it's something depend on how people as a whole and the country is feeling, they amplify that. Okay. If it's uh, someone is against something that uh, making people angry, so whoever is in power is going to amplify that particular sensitivity uh, to make people vote for them. Or they create a new nonsense to, uh, for people to vote for them. But it seems like uh, people who's been on this earth for that long haven't seen the pattern of things. Next tweet. All right. I know this is hearsay. He said to some folks, but the idea that the queen and senior royals knew nothing of Andrew's acquaintances, particularly those of more unsavoring nature, give the structure of that family business is beyond ridiculous. Okay. Oh, I respond to this. Let's see here. Okay. Why will the queen know about her son's set life? Uh, they had uh, they had to make an appointment to see her. I feel sorry for her. Uh -uh. She's been good monarch and to say she will have condoned his behavior is ludicrous. She can't show her feeling in public. Uh, there's me responding somewhere here. I forgot I did that. Okay, they knew Megan Social Security. I'm sure they knew much more. Her fave son was having fun at the expense of people's children. So it's, it was okay. <laughs> okay, and somebody added. And they got uh, as far as making threat to cover it up. Yeah, yep. Yeah. That is true. Okay, the woman has made many missteps. She allowed herself to be a tool by the heinous courtiers and advisors with their own personal agenda. Okay, here homes were used. Okay, her her home. Okay, her homes were used as a stumping ground to some society worst deviant. Yep, there's uh, pictures of them. We've seen this before. All right, all of these sex archivists. Look at a friend of the royal family, the queen and child rapist, Lord Janner. <laughs> they know. My goodness. 
my goodness my goodness this is sick at the expense of people's children that's the thing here yeah her home again to make sure this is where they took the exact picture the same spot so they could uh when push come to shove this is what happened all right they could show look she invited me they're taking everybody down like i said look in comparison with that other country what are they doing right now they're not in that mess they're not in that mess <laughs> they're moving forward build up their countries while we our politician is dealing with this nonsense okay he was sacked from his gov uh what is this is that other news all right let's move on to the other um other things i don't want to i don't want to make an hour video because i want to record some other things okay next tweet buckingham palace was quick to announce an investigation into the duchess of sussex bullying claims yet there seemed to be silence regarding ex-protection officer paul page claims that prince andrew will shout <laughs> and scream at staff okay gizlane uh, prince andrew okay this is how the rest of the family treat their servant but it's not considered bullying because they are privileged white men <laughs> prince andrew prince philip prince okay two minutes and two and two seconds i'm gonna stop in between but let's listen and see prince andrew's bedroom oh, it's very the, uh, the sun comes beaming through good morning your highness and, and the prince replied fuck off you just suck it up because you're bigger than that and you don't complain Prince Philip's temper is legendary. He runs the royal firm with an iron rod. I've seen majors and generals come out of Prince Philip's room in tears. The Prince of Wales household is lavish, and he's famously difficult to please. Prince Charles said to his valet, why aren't there scuffings here? He said, oh, I didn't know you wanted them, sir. They're down at Highgrove, a round trip of 200 miles. They sent a footman. When he came back with them, Charles have changed his mind and went to another pair. My goodness, these people are ridiculous. They've been privileged all their life. They don't know any different. They don't know how the real world works. Manipulate people, manipulate lives, abuse their position to the extent. God, they are baggage for you. They are baggage for you has grown up in such a, a privileged lifestyle that he doesn't have mechanics to choose for himself anymore. Everything is done for him. His pajamas <laughs> are pressed every morning. Everything is done for him. Everything is done for him. The, the audio is very low. So they don't have creases in them for the next day. His shoelaces are pressed flat. What in iron. the name? Shoelaces pressed? Shoelaces is... Oh, Jesus Christ. Where it's folded in a certain way, the bath towel has to be placed in a certain fashion. The bath plug has to be in a certain position. The water temperature has to be just tepid and only half full. Prince Charles does have his valet squeeze one inch of toothpaste onto his toothbrush every morning. If anyone gets anything wrong, everybody is scolded. Even his toothpaste have to be do, uh, done by somebody for him. That is ridiculous. Um, and then people want to work for them. People want to work for them. From my understanding, I think there are people who have to go to school to certain training for this BS kind of a, a position. Oh my God. Lord, please open people's eyes. Open people's eyes. On one occasion, he rang me from his library and he said, Oh, um, Paul, uh, a letter from the Queen seems to have fallen into my waste paper bin. Would you pick it out? <laughs> the waste paper bin was there. He was sat there. I had to bend down into the paper bin and pick out oh, the letter Lord. And put it back on his desk. Will that be all, Your Royal Highness? Yes, thank you very much. Jesus Christ. A thing fell, a paper fell in his um, dustbin, and he's right there. Call somebody to come, <laughs> to come and pick it up for him. Jesus, please, please do your thing. They ha these people have abused their position to the fullest. What? Meanwhile, there's people who can eat, who can have home, ah, shelter, and all of that. But let's see here. 
Okay, have is UK family is a carnival of clowns and jerks who back themselves into so many corners. It's ridiculous. Uh, you know, when when push comes to shove, it thinks, you know, they abolish them. I don't know. Where are these people going to go? Okay, to be fair, it was said by the presenter that the ex-protection guy did prison time himself for fraud, so not completely convinced. He is 100% credible. Who knows? People's always uh, making excuse for these people. And based on what we've seen with the uh, the royal, the, uh, how they treated uh, Princess Diana, how they amplified their attack with their, you know, with their rules of gangs to make Princess Diana uh, not credible, it's unbelievable. All right. So when they want something, because they want to be, look good all the time. So they're going to go to all the extent to make sure whoever is going to tell the truth to look not credible. Look, they were calling Princess Diana crazy. Look at even her son came out saying she, uh, she's crazy. My goodness. All right. So they're going to uh, try to discredit whoever is going to tell the truth as, uh, uh, as much as they can. Okay. Um, what is this now? Two minutes and 20 seconds. What is that? Okay, there's been lots of press reports of bad behavior toward palace staff over the years, even claims of Prince Charles grabbing staff by the neck. No bullying review, though. Okay, two minutes and 20 seconds. Prince Charles is memo mad. With the Queen, instructions were verbally issued via the proper network. With Prince Charles, the big difference was that he went into this crazy system of memo writing. You know, to the point where there's something that's dropped in the bin and you want it to be retrieved, you know, ask the servant to pick it out of the bin. Prince Charles tended to write a letter saying, I think something's dropped in the bin, could you try and retrieve it for me? That's the same thing that uh, Paul just mentioned in that other documentary. They call him to come and pick up a, a letter that fell in the dustbin. Oh my God, Jesus. Prince Charles also has a legendary temper, as his staff know to their cost. One of his later butlers was Ken Stronach, who sold stories to the press which revealed what his master was like to serve. Charles and, and Ken Stronach were away for a weekend with friends, staying at a friend's house. And Charles was trying to put his own collar studs in, which he doesn't normally do for his, for his uh, formal shop. And he dropped one of the studs and it sort of bounced around the sink and went down the plug hole. Um, Charles was in a fury, just ripped the sink from the wall threw it to the floor, shattered it into thousands of pieces, and retrieved the, uh, retrieved the start, and Ken had to put it in. And then when Ken had put it in, Charles grabbed him by the throat. By the way, he said, you do understand, Ken, I, I, I just have to let this out. You know, if these people, okay, were uh, working for their money, okay, work hard, getting up early to make ends meet, that sink would not be ripped off the, uh, the wall. He'll make sure to be careful and do all of that. But yet, because money grew on tree for them, so they have no worry about that. My goodness. Well, Ken was so, so terrified, he sort of backed out of the room, but he didn't, quite, he, he didn't know the geography of the room, so he backed into a cupboard <laughs> and stayed there for 10 minutes before letting himself out. <laughs> Prince Charles expected his butler to keep visits to Camilla a secret from the princess. Paul just turned around to him and said, well, are you expecting to be li to lie for you? Your Royal Highness. And Prince Charles said, well, yes. Yes, I am. And went into this histrionics about being the King of England, the future King of England, the Prince of Wales, and you will lie, stamping his feet, and then threw this book in Paul's direction. But I don't understand. Why can't they do things the right way so people don't have to do lies for you? Uh, baggage for you, God, and Princess Diana, you up there, put the word out. These people need to put, bring to justice at some point. It's a ridiculous. And Prince Charles is one of the most demanding. Charles likes, it was a particular dish he likes to eat when he goes out hunting, which is softly boiled eggs and Scotch whiskey waiting for him when he comes back. But of course, they never know when he's coming back. <laughs> so a good half an hour before he's due back, they start boiling up a batch of 20 eggs for three minutes exactly. And then if he hasn't arrived in those three minutes, they throw them away. What? And they start another batch. And... Are you kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ. 
okay what document is this let me bookmark this yeah i forgot i need to bookmark it what in the name these people are ridiculous there's more but i don't want to stay here for like oh my god two minutes and 20 seconds two minutes okay let's listen to this okay there's been a lot of press report of bad behavior toward palestine okay that's the one i just read right all right this one is another one staff uh prince joel staff talking about how they were treated by him You know, to the point okay, where so, there's something that's dropped in the bin and you want it to be retrieved, you know, okay, it's the ask same the thing, servant to pick it out the audio of the bin. is better. It's the same thing, but the audio is better. Okay, wonder if Andrew has had his police protection withdrawn also. <laughs> over teddy bears, you forgot to say he lost, okay, he lost his shit over teddy bears. Really? Oh my goodness. Oh, they did that, uh that's a, a photoshop that's a photoshop okay damn shame a few years ago prince charles senior aide the one recently sacked a charity promised scandal was uh, alleged taking to a tribunal for calling a work a work colleague the n-word a few times at work each time prince charles let go of this aide he's hiring him back this last sacking may be final though okay to be fair the press made it clear at the time that Prince Charles was not involved and never called this black member of staff that derogatory name, never found out the findings of that case and what happened to the poor woman. One paper said Prince Charles told his aide not to call her that. Ah, excuse, of course, they want to make, ah, you know what, these people are ridiculous. There's more comment, but let me move on to the next tweet that I bookmark. Okay, so here, this one I did it this morning to add to the list. New convicted sex trafficker Gisling Maxwell will no longer fight to keep the names of eight John Doe's secret and will leave it to the court to decide whether the name should be unsealed. Who else wants these men brought to justice, no matter who they are? All right, he raises his hand. Okay, I'm not protecting Gisling Maxwell. She got what she deserved, but something is wrong when most players involved are men. <clears throat> And the one woman is sitting behind bars, name all those involved and hold them accountable enough. Just, uh, how do you call this? Killing time. That's all. Killing time. Because you just never know. So, so she doesn't get blamed for, how do you call this? For uh, spilling the tea. And uh, let's say if people don't vote, because this thing involved as much as you may decide, involved with election. Look how... Uh, the U.S. Uh, Senate Republican have blocked the right le um, voting right legislation from proceeding. Okay, many of these people are part of that. What they doing? They preserving, okay, things from moving forward. That way, when their people come in, what they gonna do? They gonna pardon her, and then let her go. Okay, and then this thing will be uh, quiet. Nobody knows everything. So they're working together. Okay, so this is why people need to vote. As much as many people may not think so, they all connected. They all connected. Okay, let's see here. One of two. Yeah, well, I'm black man. Take it from me. Don't don't get too worked up about it. Rich white men being brought to justice. Nah, the whole hmm, we're gonna leave that to God. All right, we cannot just sit back thinking, oh, they white. They're gonna who 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 would have thought? Okay. Who would have thought black people would be free in the U.S.? Okay? We didn't have guns. We didn't have all those big machinery these people have. But guess what? We went, our ancestors went through hell. Okay? And come back again we, to make us, you know, where we are. So we just, we can't just sit back and then, and, and just say, oh, they're white, this and that, and that. We need to keep on fighting. Okay? Now the whole, and then the worst thing is many times we see so many black men or black people in general going to jail. Not sometimes they didn't do the crime and sometimes they, uh, it minor stuff. Okay. They took several years of their lives. So God needs to do something about this. We need to pray for, to our, to our ancestors. They've been through the headache. All right, put the word out. They die before their time. Because I always believe everybody have a piece of a puzzle for what God intended us to, to do. But the devil, 
okay the devil and to rob many people's uh, mind to do uh, unethical stuff to take away some of the puzzles okay kill them before their time so we need to pray to our ancestors to put out the word for us to do the right thing okay whichever way you want to pray but we need to keep on calling on to our ancestors okay yeah well i'm a black man take it from me don't get too worked up about it rich men okay rich white men being brought to justice nah the whole no uh no one is above the law lie is being blown out of the water right now it's never been true never never will be let's see what some people this person is like already uh how do you call this already give up okay it's not racism it is power sex trafficking is huge in third world countries and the americas money and power is the stem of all the, that is evil and control okay some of you seem to be hired to dismiss racism i mean we're not saying we're dismissing it but it seems like for me the way that i'm saying it, it seems like uh from that comment they already give up oh they're rich they're white this is gonna now okay it's gonna be hard look how we, what happened is that so many of us don't take our election as important as it should be many of us ah oh, we uh, uh we're not gonna get any laws for our favorite so we're just gonna sit home don't vote and stuff like that and the, what those people say oh good they're not gonna go vote let's put our people so we could make more uh, uh laws to our favors all right so every single freaking election put your butt on the line to go vote because all this matters they are in position to make sure their people don't go to um don't go to jail look what happened when president obama was president 2010 i told you guys that was the one of our biggest mistake because too many people did not go vote for the midterm election and then what did we have we have tea party people in there and then from that on we have the ripple effect of trump all right even though president obama um, got elected twice so people only come out to vote for presidential election we're not a monarchy a president cannot do um cannot dictate law they could only sign laws the people who make the law the senate the house of representatives we need to fill this thing up and then as soon as uh, trump in power what did they do they fill up all the courts okay the judges they fill it up because your butt did not go to uh, the vote so therefore they're gonna blame every little single things on you and then when you go and to the court what do they do whether it's a minor offenses with whatever the the thing some of you may have done all right they amplify put you in jail for years okay these are ripple effect of stuff so if you keep on complaining they white they this and then don't do what necessary i've said this in other videos is that even if you're making a million dollar a day that time where you need to go vote is make this as a investment for your future go stand on the line and go vote okay you cannot just sit home and say oh i'm making a million dollars i'm gonna lose and then as the day that you didn't go to vote somebody else voted for you and then if that other person went they're gonna make sure you don't make that one million dollar a day ever again okay so let me move on from this all right next tweet oh my god 34 minutes all right there's this here new convicted did i did it i think i did it twice okay um yeah i think i did it twice a uh, new convicted sex trafficker gisling maxwell will no longer fight to keep the name of a john Doe's secret yeah i did it twice and there's this person here oh yeah who are they <laughs> shedding bricks okay i'm not protecting gisling maxwell she got what she deserved yeah i did this already okay that's the one i just came from i bookmarked it twice okay next tweet <laughs> this one it was kind of funny when i saw it twitter users freaks as gisling maxwell matches suspect sketch for Ma uh, madeline mccain disappearance is it that young uh was it a family who went on vacation when i saw it i wasn't sure and the kid got uh, was disappeared let me see madeline beth mccain disappeared on the evening 
of 3 May 2007 from her bed in a holiday apartment at a resort in Praia de la D da Luz and Algarve region of Portugal, the Daily Telegraph described the disappearance as, quote, the most heavily reported missing person case in modern history, end quote. Wow. Can you imagine that? Let's go back to Twitter. Can you imagine if she was the one who did that? And you know, if that was the case, you know why. Oh my God. Knowing what we know now, can you imagine that? You never know. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> she does look like, I'm not going to read the article, but just this I saw and I thought that was uh, very interesting. Next tweet, and this is my last one. Okay. We are taking legal action to force Donald Trump Donald Trump Jr. and Ivanka Trump to comply with our investigation into the Trump Organization financial deal. No one in this country can pick and choose if and how the law applies to them. Again, all of this involved with election. If people don't go vote, all of these things that we are seeing, we're getting close to some of those horrific crimes. These things, if we don't go vote, the people uh, the people who are part of this thing get elected all of this will disappear okay let me continue uh, read the uh, new york uh, ag tweet okay it's a thread okay we have uncovered significant evidence indicating that the trump organization used fraudulent and misleading asset valuation on multiple properties to obtain economic benefits, including loans, insurance coverage, and tax deduction for years. And then this, actually, this investigation is due to, this is how I'm saying, election matter. I think, uh, what's her name? Cortez, AO, uh, AOC, or something like that, her name. I, I, I did a video about her where she um, uh, stood in front of uh, uh, the house to speak because somebody was calling her name. Um, AOC asked, uh, uh, what's this guy? He went to jail for Trump. He used to work for Trump. Uh, for Trump. I think he, he used to be Trump's uh, legal advisors or something like that. Uh, Michael Cohen, that's it, Michael Cohen. When AOC asked Michael Cohen specific question regarding uh, Trump's property, and then Michael Cohen spilled the bean, okay, and then sent it. It's through that, okay? If people in the Bronx did not, um, I think she covers the Bronx and some part of Queens, whatever. If people in her area did not vote for her, and then for her to ask that question to Michael Cohen, and then for Michael Cohen to spill the beans, and then for New York to, based on what Michael Cohen have said under oath, to the investigation okay this is how election matters and this is the ripple effect of that all right so there she is uh, explaining um donald trump donald trump jr and, and ivanka trump have all been closely involved in the transaction in question so we won't tolerate their attempt to evade uh, testifying in this investigation <laughs> believe me they have people in every place to stock uh, to let this prolong, all right, until your time is done for you to be out of office and for someone else to replace. They have time. These people have time, all right, and they have people in many places. Okay, we will not be uh, deterred, and our effort to continue this investigation, uncover the facts, and pursue justice, no matter how many roadblocks Mr. Trump and his family throw in our way. No one is above the law. And then we have put this. Uh, Was it? Virginia Goffrey's uh, attorney have put that on the lawsuit regarding um, Prince Andrew. No one is above the law. And that is supposed to be the fact. That is supposed to be the fact. But those people in position are making sure their people, okay, don't follow this kind of concept. But uh, if people are not voting, we're going to see what we see. All right. So, and then don't be shocked. Don't be shocked if, you know, if things don't go your way. Just know that your butt did not go vote and you're part of the problem that caused this from happening. That's all I'm saying. 
okay this is great except for the fact that if they been three black guys holding weed they're already being rikers <laughs> all right uh, please stop talking about your cases outside of the courtroom it's a potential ethical violation for prosecutors plus it arguably show bias that can be used against you by defendant oh no she's not spilling the beans she's just saying well people need to know people need to know but she's not saying all the evidence that she has okay let's see some comment here and then i'm and that's it i'll do a prayer let's see that one fox ag james file quote a motion to compel and quote that's the legal action let's not overreact here okay let's see the new york ag motion to compel trump don jr in Van Ivanka's testimony. All right, so there's a thread regarding that. All right, but with that being said, let me move on. Okay, let's do a prayer. Prayer for justice. Let's do that. Prayer for justice. Okay, prayer for justice. Grant us, Lord, uh, grant us, Lord God, a vision of your world as your love will have it. A world where the weak are protected and none go hungry or poor. A world where peace is built with justice and justice is guided by love. Give us the inspiration and courage to build it. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Let's look for an image. Let's do this one. My eyes um, went on it straight. And that will be that set. Okay? In our flesh, we desire justice. We want people to reconcile for the wrong they have done. And we want them to learn from the hurt that they have caused definitely and yet you give us grace when we deserve justice you pardon us and forgive us of our uh, trespasses you give us mercy i pray that we can extend that same gift of grace to others that we love even if it means they never receive justice mm, they need to receive justice they need to receive justice that way their nonsense will stop because if justice never serves they will continue and continue and continue looking how many uh children have been abused by so many of these men why they get away with it they get away with it so we need justice we need those people to get justice for all those children and then you know many of these men haven't brought to justice and there are kids who haven't even been born yet who have not born yet who are potentially being a victim of these people who's already alive. So we need to protect the unborn from their behavior, bad behavior. Okay? The unborn who haven't born yet. Okay? You hear all the Republicans, they care for life. Uh, they don't want uh, abortion and all of that. Okay? So if these people really care, they will not be doing this kind of behavior. Right? We need to protect the ones who hasn't even born yet. Because these men like to go after young kids. They want after, I've, I've read stuff where uh, five-year-old is being abused, nine-year-old, they want to reduce the age of consent as low as they could get. All right? We need to protect all those who haven't even born yet. Okay? Who have not been born yet and then these men are training those young men who are born already and then for that devious nasty behavior to continue to cycle over so all of these unborn okay I want to pray for them so they don't experience this kind of behavior this kind of treatment and then for the young men who hasn't born yet to not know this kind of behavior exists so when they get older they could read about it to say how bad how much pain people have done have gone through these things so these people need to go to justice i'm sorry i disagree with this part i disagree with this part and this prayer but everything else seems okay all right even if it means they never receive justice help our flesh understand and accept the power of grace in jesus name amen let's see if there's one more I, I was starting to okay with the prayer, but then when they said never receive justice, no, 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 no. Justice needs to be brought. Sometimes people need to understand justice in this lifetime. Okay, next. Uh, let, let's read this one. We pray through us. God speaks words of peace, love, justice, and faithfulness that challenge violence, hatred, and self-interest in the world. We pray that we find courage and strength in the rising Christ 
to be faithful witnesses in the face of all challenges and risk. This is a little bit better. All right, that's it. So please take a moment to subscribe, like, and share. If you want to support this channel, there's a PayPal link in the description. You could uh, support and donate. And uh, that's it. And I'm going to do another video regarding Britney Spears. <music>